Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to consider this situation in which a charge configuration is placed in front of a grounded conducting plate. And we need to find out what is the charge that is being induced on this conductor. This problem also comes under method of image only. This was asked in previous CSR question. This problem involves two steps in, sol in its solution. One is the first step is like this. When this charge of linear charge density lambda is placed in front of a conductor which is grounded at a in a plane that is xz plane at y is equal to zero, we need to find out what is the charge that is induced on this conductor. So to calculate this, I converted it into its equivalent, equal, equivalent situation. That is, I am removing this conductor and I am placing its equivalent image charge over here. So if this rod of infinite length and linear charge density is placed at a coordinate 0, comma d, comma 0, that is at y is equal to d, this is y-axis, then its image is located at 0, minus d, and 0. First step involves in calculating the potential at a general point P, that is somewhere over here, somewhere at this point. I wanted to calculate what is the potential at this point. For this purpose, distance from the, its image charge I am taking as R minus, distance from its real charge, that lambda I am taking it as R plus. So first I should calculate what is the resultant potential at this point P. This is step one. Second step is directly I will calculate the charge density through this relation, minus epsilon naught into dou V divided by dou L. Okay, so I'm plugging into the first situation. We know the expression for potential due to a infinite conductor at a point P is given by, due to this positive charge is given by V plus is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into log of R naught divided by R plus. What is this R naught? R naught is a reference point at which potential is assumed to be zero. Potential energy is assumed to be zero. That, that reference point I am taking as R naught. Similarly, due to this image charge, V minus is equal to minus lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into log of R naught divided by R minus. Now, what is R plus and R minus? Where R plus is given by distance of this point P from this charge charge configuration. So what are the coordinates of P I am assuming? X, Y, and Z. Then the distance between these two points, X minus zero, that is X square, plus Y minus D, that is Y minus D whole square, plus Z minus zero is Z square whole power one by two. Similarly, we calculate R minus. What is R minus? distance from this point to this point. So x minus 0 is how much? x square plus y minus of minus b, y plus d whole square plus z square whole power 1 by 2. So if I substitute these two things into this one, before that one, first I will write down the expression for what is total potential. Therefore V is equal, total potential is given by potential due to pass to plus potential due to its image charge, V minus. That implies V is equal to, I need to add these two, in which I am taking this lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught can common, lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into, what I can write? Log R naught divided by R plus. So here minus is there, so I am putting it minus sign log r naught divided by r minus. Therefore, total potential at point P is given by V is equal to V is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into this you can write it as log a minus log b which is log a by b log of 
what is by v? This is divided by this means r minus divided by r plus u over here. So here I will substitute what is r minus and what is r plus. Therefore, v is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into log of what is r minus? This one x square plus y plus d whole square plus z square divided by x square plus y minus d whole square plus z square whole power. I am writing this whole power 1 by 2 common 1 by 2. This is the expression form. This you can take it as log a square can be written as 2 log a. That only I am writing here. Therefore, final expression for potential is given by lambda divided by, if you bring this to 2 to the 4, 4 pi epsilon naught into log of x square plus y plus d whole square plus z square divided by x square plus y minus d whole square plus z square. This is the oral expression for potential at this point b. So first step is over. Next step is second step is calculating the charge density. Therefore sigma is equal to what is that? Minus epsilon naught into dou v divided by dou n. Here the charge is placed along y and I wanted to calculate charge density on a plane for which y is equal to 0. So I should write replace this n by dou y. At which point I am calculating where, where the plane is located at y is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. So first I will calculate dou v divided by dou y. Next step is calculating dou v by dou y. Therefore dou v divided by dou y is equal what I can write lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught is anyhow constant 4 pi epsilon naught into dou by dou y of okay what you should take log of x square plus y plus d whole square plus z square divided by x square plus y minus d whole square plus z square. So here you may tempt to apply u by v formula something like that. Okay, instead of doing that, what I will do is I will split it such that you may get u minus v form method. Okay, so that only I am doing here. Therefore, do v divided by do y is equal to lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into do divided by do y of this I am splitting it again. Log of a by b you can write it as log a minus log b. Log of x square plus y plus d whole square plus z square minus log of x square plus y minus d whole square plus z square. That is equal to lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into dou by dou y of log x is how much? 1 by x. So you will be getting here 1 divided by this whole function you will get it here into and again inside function if you differentiate it with respect to y x square is 0. This is how much? 2 into y plus d minus again this is 1 divided by this whole thing will come here into if you differentiate it partially with respect to y, this is 0, this is 0, this value is how much? 2 into y minus d. That is equal to lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into how much you will be getting? 2 into y plus d divided by, what is that? x square plus y plus d whole square plus z square minus 2 into y minus d divided by x square plus y minus d whole square plus z square. Where I wanted to calculate it here, dou v divided by dou y at y is equal to 0. That only I am calculating. Therefore, dou v divided by dou y at y is equal to 0 is given by lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 
if you substitute y is equal to 0, you will be getting 2d. This is also will become y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, minus d whole square is d square, denominator is same. So, you will be getting x square plus y is 0 here, if you substitute it here, you will be getting d square plus z square. Here also minus y, when you substitute y is equal to 0, it will become minus d whole square is d square only. That, that is common for both, denominators are common, now you can add numerators. 2 into y is equal to 0 means 2d, y is equal to 0 means minus into minus plus 2d. This is the thing. Okay. So, that is equal to how much you will be getting 2d plus 2d, 4d. 4, 4 gets cancelled. Lambda d divided by pi epsilon naught into x square plus d square plus z square. This is the value of dou v divided by dou v at y is equal to 0. Therefore, sigma is given by, sigma is equal to minus epsilon naught into dou v divided by dou y at y is equal to 0 is given by minus epsilon naught into dou v by dou at y is equal to 0. How much we calculate here? Lambda d divided by pi epsilon naught into x square plus d square plus z square. Epsilon, epsilon net gets cancelled. Therefore, sigma is given by, that is, charge density, induced charge density is given by epsilon naught, epsilon naught gets cancelled. Lambda d, minus lambda d divided by pi into x square plus d square plus z square. This is the expression for induced charge, charge density on this conductor. So, this is how we calculate.